You join Jake Mickleborough and Tom Wesley here at Felstead School. Felstead are celebrating their 450th birthday this year. Today, Jake and Tom are taking part in a number of cricket workshops here at Felstead School, helping to produce, hopefully, the next star in Essex cricket. So in between all of that action, it's question time here on Essex TV. So Tom, a busy pre-season schedule is now virtually complete. How useful were the three games that we played? Um, yeah, I think the games were, were very important for us. I think what was mainly important was the use of the tent. I don't know if it has a name, but... I think it is just the, the on-pitch tent. tent, I think. I think the, the three weeks we got in there were invaluable. I mean, I know a lot of counties have gone away, but I think if we were to be brutally honest, then that was the best preparation we could probably have before the season. A lot was made about the temperature in there. How hot was it? It was, the hottest it was like content? being in Sri Lanka. So it just was cheaper. Just a lot cheaper in Chelmsford. Yeah. Okay. Uh, passing the mic on to Jake. Uh, obviously, the season starts on Sunday with the home LV County Championship match against Derbyshire. You must be keen to uh, hope, help get play your part and get Essex off to a winning start. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we've got a, we've got a few players that we haven't had around for a while in the lights of Cook and Bapara, uh, which will that be be massive for us, but. Uh, you know, we, we had a good back end to last season and we want to we wanna continue that and hit the ground running on Sunday against Derby. We've been probably renowned to being a little bit of a slow starter. So, yeah, I, I'm, we've got a massive emphasis on Sunday and starting really well. Passing the mic, uh, playing past the mic game here, back to Tom. Having Alistair and Ravi available for selection for the opening few games, that must make a real difference in the dressing room and more importantly out in the middle. Yeah, obviously it makes a huge difference. Not just obviously they're world-class cricketers, but what they offer to the individuals like myself and Jake, obviously we're some of the younger batsmen at the club. So it's brilliant just to be able to draw on their experiences. Cookie's fantastic, you know, doing some work with him on the, on the machines or he takes time out of his own schedule to do that little bit extra for us, which is, which is brilliant. There seems to be a renewed hope and certainly determination in the dressing room for, with everyone and the team united. Uh, but what are your personal ambitions for the season ahead? My personal ambitions, I, I try not to set too many goals. Obviously, I want what's best for the team. That's first and foremost. I think we want to gain promotion as a club into Division 1. Um, but personally, from a batting point of view, and I'm sure it goes for the same with Jake, I think we've, we're getting to an age now where we just want to be as consistent as we can, deliver big match winning scores um, as consistently as possible because I think we've both shown signs of it in the last couple of years um, but I think for us to go up that next level we have to do it more consistently. I think you've answered the question for both of you there so we're, as we're at school we're going to go back to your school time it wasn't that many years ago I know but let's roll the clock back just those few years so we'll ask you the first question Tom uh, were you the class genius? No I wasn't the class genius I don't think. Um, um, yeah, I, sh I did okay at school, but yeah, I, well, when you're playing obviously cricket alongside it and being on the Essex Academy, there was quite a few distractions, so yeah, I was by no means a genius, more of like the class joker, if anything. Okay, uh, favourite school dinner? Well, I know it's had a lot of bad press, but for me, it's the turkey twizzler. Healthy. I know Jamie Oliver's not going to be happy with that, but they tasted amazing. Okay, uh, and last question for you, Tom. Uh, when did you know that cricket was going to be your thing? Um, I know it sounds bizarre, but from a very young age, uh, even at primary school, when we were playing quick cricket, we didn't go. To, we, I wasn't fortunate enough to go to a school like this playing hardball cricket from the age of seven or eight. So even using those blue bats from that age, I, I knew then that I wanted to play cricket, and I tell people that I wanted to be a professional cricketer, and they'd more often than not laugh at me, but. Um, yeah, I knew from quite a young age. Okay, and back to you, Jake. Uh, so first up, favourite school subject? My favourite school subject would have been PE. I think, obviously, being a sportsman now, I like to kind of participate in pretty much everything. So, yeah, definitely PE. And your favourite teacher, if you want to name one? I didn't really get on with any teachers, uh, funnily enough. I didn't really enjoy school. But okay, we'll edit that question out. Yeah. Uh, but one, t <laughs> <laughs> one tip you would give to today's school children, especially those that you're going to be helping coach uh, and meet today, wanting to make their way in cricket or in sport in general? Yeah, I think you've just got to enjoy it. I think enjoyment's the, the biggest thing. And, you know, kids at, the, uh, at this such young age, I think you don't want to be funneled down one route. 
you need to cover all basis and then obviously when that chance comes to make that decision you've got to be brave enough for that 7 16 17 18 to give it you give it your all and uh yeah don't don't leave anything behind thank you jake thank you tom good luck for the whole of the season let's hope that we have the success that we all crave for thanks to felstead school and enjoy the rest of the day